Hey guys, Tomboy601, and uh, we're in the German carrier today. Uh, turns out they released today, and I may have fallen in love with them. So I did something I have never done before, and boosted my way to the tier 7, and then bought the tier 7, so it's my only tier 7 carrier. Yeah, no, um, German carriers are powerful, fun, and I'm really enjoying them. I hear from some people they're still preferring their Lexingtons, but for me right now... Uh, German carriers were scratching an itch and they are, they are fun to play, man. Um, so we're, this video, we're going to go ahead and go over some tips and tricks that I've learned this past day. Um, just some strategies with them. Also, we have a code to give away. That's going to give you a free container. So enjoy that with all that said, let's, uh, dive on in. So as you, as I'm sure you're aware, German carriers are equipped with two kinds of planes, the torpedo bombers that you're seeing going right now, and then their defining feature, the AP bombers, and this is where they get spicy. Uh, the AP bombs allow you to citadel uh, ships, so they are very effective against ships with citadels. I find myself uh, that they are more effective against battleships than they are against cruisers, but that's more of just an aiming thing. And uh, I've been getting a lot more overpens with the dive bombers on cruisers, which can sometimes mean you're not doing much damage. And that is one of the things with these things is they are feast or famine, but when, they, when you hit feast, oh boy, is it beautiful. Here we go right now. We go ahead, pop our new immunity thing, uh, and we're going to go ahead, drop on the Florida, all three bombs away. And there we go. Two Citadels, 30,000 damage. It is simply insane. The damage you can end up doing. You may not be able to do it very consistently, uh, but I find it's a lot easier on stationary targets. And guess what? That happens to be uh, battleships a lot of the time. I think the the way to think about the german uh the german planes is uh they are a counter to the ships that sit still uh they are especially deadly to ships that decide to go nose in and just kind of sit in the back and lock down a lane yeah that's that's kind of what these guys are designed to get rid of uh i i was able to like almost one squadron take down a synop earlier with uh while I was in the tier five games like they get just simply absolutely disgusting and they can absolutely melt when they decide to go ahead and find and hit the targets which is why i'm i'm having a ton of fun now one of the interesting things i found out from the devs is allegedly and apparently your ap pen is determined by the height of your drop so you may see me dropping from a fairly tall height. And we'll go ahead and talk about this because these planes fly higher than any of the other dive bombers. And they go straight into a dive rather than popping up and then diving down. I also really like this uh, dive behavior. It does force you to be much more on top of it. With the American ships, I find that you kind of have to lead a little bit more. This, as soon as wherever you like kind of pull your trigger, wherever you decide to drop on, generally that's exactly where these planes are going to go ahead and drop, which uh, is, is making me love them. Now, we're uh, a little bit into the video, so let's go ahead and do that free uh, container code. So if you would like a free container, go ahead, head on over to worldofworshipslegends.com slash code redeemer, and you're going to type in the code 01. W O W S L S P I E L. Once again, this is zero one W O W S L S P I E L. And uh, that will give you one regular container. You know, it ain't much, but it's a bonus beyond just the free one that you have today. Now, as far as commanders go for the ship, I have found both Sheer and, uh, and the new Hans Geisler viable. Uh, they have their pros and cons in my mind. Personally, uh, Geisler, his base trait is garbage. It's trash. Uh, you do not want to be in secondary range uh, on these ships. None of them have exactly the 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 known for long range secondaries of German ships. So if you're using secondaries, you're already in a world of hurt, and you shouldn't really 
Uh, you don't want to like be building into that. A, a secondary spec for these ships is not what you want to do, which is why I found myself switching between Sheer and with Von Hipper. As far as inspirations go, I like definitely if you have them space fishy to help speed up those torpedoes or, uh, and then if not, I've been running Bruce Frazier just to get a little bit more speed and then also a uh, good old Swarsky if you have him to uh, help boost that wonderful, wonderful concealment. Once again, those are two kind of, two of those are premium-ish commanders, so you may not have them, but I, I like having Frazier on there. I may also uh, recommend Vine just because uh, I, the German carriers don't have, they still have good concealment. They don't have the best concealment. Um, and I don't feel like buffing the AA. I feel like that was the trend when the the carriers first came out. You used your inspirations to buff the AA of your ship. But like, I don't feel like it really helps that much. I feel like no matter what, you're, you're, the enemy will get like one pass on you and then they'll all die. Uh, so burning your skills on the on the buffing the AA kind of feels like a waste to me. And I would much prefer to do something a little different with them. Uh, and which is why I'm liking using Frazier just to get that little bit of boost of speed, which uh, definitely helps throughout the match, you know, kind of keeps you out of trouble when you have to play. Here we go on a drop on the uh, Kutuzov. As we can see, this is one of the, the problems I've been having with uh, the German ships is if you have a cruiser commander who knows what he's doing, he's maneuvering, the AP bombs are exceptionally hard to hit uh, and don't even try to go ahead and hit the destroyers, mainly because even if you do get a good drop on them, you are going to overpen them so damn quickly that uh, you're just not going to do damage. Like, you're going to get the tenth, so you're going to get like less than a thousand on it if, if you're lucky and you hit one bomb. Like, I just don't recommend it at all uh torpedoes are decent let's go ahead oh yeah the planes other other fun little quirks and features on the planes they are absolutely blistering fast just under 200 knots i think they are the fastest planes in the game making them very effective at scouting getting out getting those spotting ribbons helping your team being supportive uh that's another thing I'm really liking about them is they do very much feel like, oh, okay, I need to respond to this here. I can get over there. I'm quicker than anyone else. Uh, and you can really just kind of get over there and do whatever you need to get done. Um, this is also super helpful because it, I think the speed is kind of what is your best counter to destroyers. A lot of the times it feels like destroyer play uh, you know, you would kind of go after them with torpedoes, which you can do. Torpedoes are slightly quicker than in the American ones. I kind of find the middle of the road, essentially, as far as what we've been given so far. Um, but I find that the, uh, that the best feature for you is to be able to, like, very quickly scout out areas and hover over destroyers and hopefully rely on your team to go ahead and take them down. That's been my kind of experience with them. Uh, the wayward torpedo here and there to be able to eliminate the uh, the enemy, but mainly uh, relying on the your teammates to go ahead and take out those destroyers. Which you know it makes sense. Now, as far as a counterplay to these to these uh, to these guys, uh, you just got to stick in a group. But even then, with that new uh, AA consumable, with the new uh, like invulnerability frames, it can people can still kind of pick you out in a crowd. But I, I have to say, they, these planes are very much paper thin, especially the dive bombers, I find, uh, don't have the most health. So they do get torn up relatively quickly. Uh, you saw me earlier, one of the techniques you can implement is go ahead, do a, do a quick drop to get the first set of, of bombers back in your, back in your hangars and re-upping while then flying into like a hornet's nest using that those invulner those inner vulnerability frames if you will to then get a full drop on a large group of ships but you're only really going to be able to do that three times and you have a minute and a half cooldown between being able to do that so not exactly the most effective method but there are definitely methods out there uh so far having played a lot of the battleships today it can definitely hurt if you get picked out. Uh, thankfully, I've been playing the American ships a lot, so having the AA does tend to ward them off, 
but these these planes can absolutely be terrifying and uh, absolutely go ahead and ruin your day. So yeah, guys, those are my like first impression slash guide to the German carriers. I'm really loving them. Like I said, I for the first time ever, I boosted all the way through and bought out the tier seven after playing the tier five because uh, one, they did give us kind of a rebate slash tons of tons of money and experience to go ahead and play the carriers today for that uh, that bonus mission. Uh, so that one helped pad the wallet enough to be like, oh yeah, I can barely afford it if I sell a couple of tier four ships. Uh, and then to the, uh, the, I was just having fun. I was repeatedly playing the tier five ship and I was like, you know what, if I'm having this much fun with tier five, we might as well get out there and enjoy a tier seven. And I'm here to tell you tier seven, quite enjoyable as well. So yeah, guys, that's been my, my, my thing on the German carriers. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like the video, go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.